Hi guys, it's Dawn again, and I am back to talk to you about um, how I cleanse my house. Um, I have ghost activity, poltergeist activity. If I don't cleanse my house regularly, it can get out of hand. So, um, I have not been able to do it for the last two years. My health has just not allowed it. But um, since I had Tammy here, who is my friend, and um, Kelsey here, I, we were able to get the entire house done. Um, but there are a few things I did to in order to cleanse my house. And I want you guys to understand that there is prep that goes into it. I don't just walk around with sage and say my chant. Um, I took a, a spiritual cleansing bath. Um, I lit up the candles on my ancestor altar and asked uh, my ancestors for guidance and for help. Um, I lit my protection candle, my working candle. Um, I sprayed myself with my self-confidence spray. Um, and if you guys, um, want the recipe for that, it is on some of my earlier videos. Um, I lit the candles on my main altar. And, um, I spiritually prepared myself. Um, I was going to do it the day before and... I felt really drained and I knew there was no way I would be able to do it. Um, cleansing a house is spiritually, emotionally, physically draining. Um, you have to bubble up real hard, um, meaning you want to meditate a little bit um, and get that glow of protection. Um, around you, build your walls around you so nothing can get to you. Um, and still, it is very draining. Um, I also used, um, we saged, I saged myself and then I saged my uh, friend. We did not know we were going to need Kelsey at the time, but um, when we did need her, she had the sage, um, so she was good there. Um, I probably should have saged her, but at the point that I needed her, I was in a lot of physical pain. I could not, I just could not do anything else. It was that bad. Um, but I wanted to read you guys um, my personal chant. If you cleanse your house, okay, make sure you're spiritually, physically, emotionally able and prepared to do it. If you're going to need help, make sure you have that help with you. Um, but I'm going to read you what I wrote to cleanse my house. And um, each person is different. This is a very personal experience, a very personal thing. Um, if you're a witch, you know you can do it. It is important that you have conviction uh, when you write out your chant and when you read it out. And there are times that what is written on this paper is not going to work and you have to intuitively work it. Um, there were times I had to come off the paper and intuitively grab what was there and pull it out. Um, psychically grab what was there and reel it out. Um, it's hard to explain unless you've done it. Um, uh, unless you work a lot with spirits, uh, but you have to metaphysically be able to 
know when something is lurking in the dark corners. Um, and when you're saging, you want to make sure that you get all the corners, doors, windows, closets. Uh, you want to make sure the sage gets into every corner of the room. Um, especially the dark rooms uh, where they like to hide when they're running. Um, yes, that sage needs to get there and you need to be able to spiritually feel and grab it and just pull it out with conviction. This is my house. I, you know, you have no power here. Um, and like I said, sometimes I did come off the paper because I had to do that. Um, but I wanted to read to you what is in the sage stick that I used, okay? Um, you can use a plain sage stick. It is more about your conviction and what you're saying um, and meaning it. Um, your intention than about the uh, sage, even though it is cleansing and it does help you. It is a tool to help you. Um, so, I will tell you what what's in the sage stick and where I got it. I got it at Juliana's Jam and Rock Shop. Um, she does she will sometimes put together sage sticks and in this particular sage stick and that's in montana by the way i i apologize it's in um columbus montana um and in this particular sage stick there was sage roses juniper spruce wild geranium and yarrow lamb's ear mullen lemon balm and elm so that is the um, sage stick that I used. Um, each of those things um, have different um, properties uh, to help you cleanse. Um, and then my, while I was saging and reading my paper, um, my friend was going behind me and using frankincense and concentrating on putting light and positivity back into each room, each closet, each um, floor of the house. <clears throat> so I am going to read you what I wrote. Again, is very personal what you write, depending on your experiences with. Uh, the spirits or poltergeist or whatever it is in your house um, that you're cleansing it for. Um, but here we go. We cleanse our home and cast out all negativity and evil intent. We take back our home from any and all negative energy and spirits. We cast the negative out to ride the wind. Return here no more. We bind you from this home. We bind you from doing harm. We ward this home against all darkness and negativity for all time. We move amongst our home reclaiming every inch of space for positivity and light for our family and friends alone. Um, so that's what I read. I will be keeping this. It will be going in my book of shadows. So right now I'm just gonna lay it right here, and uh, that's got one my most recent book of shadows in there. Um, also, when you're saging, you can use a uh, sage wand. Uh, you can use a feather to make sure you get into the corners. I did not use either of those. I used my breath. I wanted to breathe life and my intent um, into the sage throughout the house. And um, 
So that's the way we chose to do it. We chose to do it by blowing on the sage. It worked really well. It kept the sage lit, which sometimes, you know, you just can't keep the sage lit. Um, but blowing on it like that keeps it lit, keeps it going. You don't have to constantly stop and relight the sage to make sure it's smoking. Um, and you're also breathing life and intent into um, your your sage, the smoke, your words. Um, and I personally thought that was the best way to do it for me. <clears throat> Now, a lot of people do house cleansings different ways. And a lot of people um, use sage differently than the way I use it. Um, they don't blow on it. Like I said, they use wands, which I have, <clears throat> but chose not to use. Um, and some people will, you know, blow the sage for uh, their own reasons. I was just telling you my reasons for doing it. Um, so, I wanted to go a, a little bit more in depth than just saying I cleansed my house. So, if anybody else out there is wondering, should I do this? How should I do it? Um, you can also use anointing oils and salt on the window seals. Um, but I felt that my conviction and my words were powerful enough and I did not need to do I didn't need to put salt in the windows and I did not need to put holy water or anointing oil or anything like that because it it was my convinced conviction my intent uh, my power of will um, and so that is what I did to cleanse my house, like I said, me, people do it differently. And if it's a cleansing that you're needing, um, you can um, take a little from me, a little from here, a little from there, and make it yours and do it your way. Um, because your way is the best way. Um, and use what you have. Um, I'm always about using what you have. You don't have sage. Um, go outside. Uh, pine uh, does the same thing. Um, spruce. Um, evergreens. Cedar. Um, there's something you can find to do it with. And if there's you choose, you don't have to use sage. You can go through the house with your conviction just your breath and speak the power into the words. Um, like I said, sage is a tool. And if you do not have that tool, well, then you use another, which is your intent, your conviction, uh, the life of your breath. Um, do it your way. Um, if anyone has any questions, please drop them down in the comments. And I do check my comments. I try to answer everyone. So um, let me know if you have a question, if there's something I can help you with. Um, and I guess I am going to get off here for a while. Thank you all for watching and blessed be my family.